I showed you how to build this modified van in a previous video and it's still useful and going strong. But there's been a repetitive question about the speed control. Why the hell am I using PWM instead of just putting a potentiometer in series to the van? And yes, you could just put a potentiometer in series. This one here has a high value of resistance, but it shows you that it is possible. So why should you build this complicated circuit? Well in this video I am going to blow your mind with some basic electronics knowledge and give you the reason why I did this. And I am going to spoil on myself here and say that the biggest reason is power lost. We are working here with a battery, so we do not want to waste energy on anything else than this van. Let me draw a simplified schematic of the PWM circuit. The PWM represents a variable voltage source and our load is the van. Now we create an equivalent 4.5 voltage source with a duty cycle of 0.5. So we have a voltage drop of the complete 4.5 volts across our van. No voltage is lost. The current flows according to the characteristic line of the van. Practically we have no power lost in this circuit. But in theory we have small voltage drops across the wire and the NPN transistor. We could minimize the transistor loss with a N-channel MOSFET like the bus 11. But that's not the point right now. The only loss we have is the power the NE555 consumes to generate the square wave. That is around 10 mA at 9 volts, So a power loss of around 90 mW. That is constant. No matter how fast or how slow the van spins, the loss does not change here, practically. Time for the potentiometer. To calculate this right, we have to measure the characteristic line of the van. So I hook it up to my bench power supply. I start at 9 volts and write down the amps. Then I go down by 0.5 volts and write down the amps again and so on. Remember kids, the only difference between screwing around and science is writing it down. In the end I have this nice chart which will help me now. The simplified schematic for the potentiometer looks like this. A fixed 9V source, a resistor and a van. Let's do the math for the second line here. I want an 85 voltage drop across my van. Kirchhoff's voltage law tells us that the voltage sum in a closed network must be zero. So we have a 0.5 voltage drop across the resistor. That means the resistor wastes power of 0.5 volts multiplied by 93 milliamps, so around 46.5 milliwatts. A second example would be 4 volts across the van, so 5 volts across the resistor. Power loss of 5 volts multiplied by 48 milliamps equals 240 milliwatts. I did the calculation for the rest here. Now we can also calculate the resistor values. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. So here we have 0.5 volts divided by 0.093 amps equals 5.37 ohms. And the rest are just other values. Now you are thinking, is this really true? We can test it. Here is a 47 ohm resistor. I put it in series and bam, a voltage drop of around 3 volts and a current flow of around 64 milliamps, just as we predicted. Now you look at your chart and realize, well, with PWM we have a loss of 90 milliwatts, and here our highest is 230 milliwatts. But wait, I want to feel the breeze, so I only use the voltage levels until 7 volts. In this case it is pretty much the same, so it is up to you whether you want to use PWM or a potentiometer. For this van I would recommend a linear one up to 220 ohms and a quarter watt is enough as you can see. But that is a pretty small load. Just imagine a bigger one like a LED strip. I did the same measurements and calculations and I got a power loss of around 1.6 watts. I put an 11 ohm resistor in series just for fun and it got unbearable hot. I tried putting some drops of water on it to see it vaporize and it vaporized pretty good. Definitely use PWM for bigger loads because the efficiency is just better. These were my main concerns with the subject. Of course there is plenty more to talk about, but for now you know a little bit more. Don't forget to give me a like, maybe subscribe, it's all up to you. Stay creative and I will see you next time.